Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, using free resources as always. Uh, today is a quick quick tip and when I do a quick tip video it means anything less than four hours. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah. Alright, so anyway, um, a lot of you have messaged and commented uh, different forums and stuff like that that your exports are not creating the bin and getting your textures mapped correctly this video will show you using the asobo exporter how to take care of that problem all right so here i have uh, my asr okay my airport surveillance radar model okay and just a note for you guys that know this that this is an animated radar and i have my animation of my radar going in the wrong direction just thought i'd let you know that i do know that uh these don't rotate in counterclockwise they rotate clockwise all right anyway i digress as always all right so if you have your model and if you hit the n to bring up your context menu um, it will remember the N brings up the context menu of anything that's over here that was recently open so if I had items if I had the item tab open and if I hit N to make that go away hit N to bring it back up it brings up the previous state of the context menu okay whatever tab you had open so if you had the exporter tab open and you hit N, it's going to bring up that menu. Just so you know. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, but that's also been a question asked. Now, to make sure that the it creates a GLTF, a bin, and maps the correct location of your textures, you will not find that in the multi-export tab. All right? So hit N, get out of that. So you have to play like you're exporting for the first time. So you would select all your objects and then you would go over to File, Export, GLTF2, and it brings up the Export menu. Now I'm not going to click Export because I already have this model exported the way that I want it, okay? But you're going to select all your objects and this is kind of like the way that we used to do it in the old exporter all right select all your objects file export and it opens up this menu right here you need to make sure that format is set to gltf bin plus textures so click on that then you fill in your textures directory you do your includes to do your selected objects, your custom properties. If you have lights, you, you'll do punctual lights. You'll set your transform, make sure that's, usually you never have to do that unless you've changed something. Uh, that didn't make sense. Normally you don't, this is already checked, all right, for transform. Your geometry, make sure that you have your modifiers and all that set. You do, you can uncheck tangents because they're irrelevant to Microsoft Flight Simulator in this case. And then you don't have to do anything with compression, animation, and exporter extensions. All right. Then click export. And then after you click export, it's going to create your GLTF, your bin, and your, and your, and map where the textures are. All right, now, anytime that you go into this model, that's already preset, all right? You should not have to do that again, all right? Then, you can re-export your model using the multi-exporter tab, all right? So, you can unselect everything, and then you can go into your exporter and then do all this and do all your LODs and stuff like that. And the export 
will already you know you got to make sure that the separate now it, it didn't save the setting because I didn't export anything okay I didn't hit export that's why it went back to binary all right but you can check it ahead of time all right by coming here and making sure that this format is set for the bin and the textures and like I said the reason that it has went back to the binary is because I didn't actually export all right I hit the cancel all right if I hit export the last format that I chose will be selected okay at least that's how it's always been for me okay anyway I hope this helped um, so get back and re-export your file and make sure that that works correctly I hope this helps um, I will see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys later. Have a great week.